Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the Cineon Converter in Adobe Premiere to change from Log Gamma to Rec. 709 Gamma in a pinch. This is an imprecise science. It's not going to give you the same accurate results that using a lookup table would, nor is it going to give you the same aesthetic results that doing it by hand would. However, if you find yourself in a situation where you have log footage that you need to convert quickly and conveniently, without access to either lookup tables or the time to do it by hand. This is a method that works very well. To begin with, we're going to convert, instead of log to linear, linear to log. That may sound as if it's flipped, and personally I don't understand why the naming convention is set that way. Um, but you need linear to log rather than log to linear. Now, we are going to use our 10-bit black point, 10-bit white point, our gamma, and our highlight roll-off tools. The internal black point goes between 1 and 0, and that's for your clipping levels. Same with your internal white point, it goes from 0 to 1, and that's your clipping point. 1 being 100, the max, 0 being 0, the bottom. <clears throat> we don't need to mess with that, because we're not really dealing with trying to adjust for HDR, SDR, etc, etc. We're simply just converting into the working space of Adobe Premiere, which is Rec. 709, slash sRGB. So our 10-bit black point we're going to begin with. We're going to take it, and we're going to lower it, and then raise it slightly until we get our footage just about kissing our zero line. Then we're going to take our white footage, or our white point. We're going to lower the number until we get a nice contrast of image. As you can see, we're clearly clipping on our highlights. This is where highlight roll-off comes in. You can bring the highlight roll-off down so that it keeps the contrast level, but saves the information in the highlights. And then we're going to use gamma and lower it as a way to increase the contrast even more and make the image pop slightly. Now, that's, that's, it's that simple. This is not going to 100% accurately convert from a log format into Rec. 709, and it's not going to adjust the color space properly either, but it's something that you can do quick if you need dailies, or quick if you're in a pinch and you're working with a client that needs a fast turnaround, and you shot a log. I hope you find this tutorial informative and useful. Thank you.